Bradley won the Tour of Britain last week. What are expectations ahead of his bid to win his first world title on the road? Well, it's a big day for Sir Bradley Wiggins. He has said that this is the most important race of his life, which says an awful lot given his achievements so far. He's currently out training on the roads of Tuscany, spinning the legs, keeping things ticking over. If he wanted a quiet ride, though, I'm afraid he will have been disappointed. He was clocked by about two dozen amateur cyclists in the car park as he was about to leave here this morning. And today, when he headed out, they headed out with him. I don't imagine they'll get much chat out of him, though. I'd imagine he is very much focused on the task ahead. So can he do it? That's the key question we can chat to Sir Dave Brails for just now. Um, a big race for him. He hasn't had the greatest of seasons. Can he do it? Absolutely he can do it. Um, <clears throat> he's got himself in great shape. Um, he saw the course yesterday and it's, it's, it is a Bradley course. There's no doubt about it. It really suits him. Um, but he's got some fierce competition. Uh, both uh, Fabian Cancellara, Tony Martin and Taylor Finney uh, stand out really. They've all had really good um, time trial years. So it's, uh, I don't think anybody can call it. It's going to be tight, that's for sure. We're so used to seeing British riders winning. We're used to seeing Sir Bradley winning. Will podium be enough, or is it all about the gold today? Uh, the important thing is to do his best performance. Um, that's all he can give, you know, and I think the first question has to be, is that the best performance he could actually give? And if the answer to that is yes, and somebody else goes faster, he's got to deal with that. So uh, the question I'll be asking, rather than podium or worrying about any of that, is let's, our, at this moment in time, with hours to go to the race, it's all about the details to make sure he can optimise his performance will go from there. He said earlier in the season that he may never ride the Tour de France again. He told us yesterday that he's now really keen to ride the Tour. How will that work between himself and Chris Froome? Well, I, to be honest, I think, you know, we're hours away from the World Time Trial Championships. That's what we're going to focus on. Then we'll do the road race and all of the other races this year with the under-23 men. We've got some great talent in the British team this year and we'll be focused on that. We'll get to the end of the season, we'll review it. Chris won the Tour de France in style this year and he'll be our team leader for next year going towards the Tour and we'll pick the team around that to, to support him and maximise his chances of, uh, of success. So that's how we'll approach it. We've just seen behind you Bradley coming back from his training ride so he's done and dusted ready for the afternoon ahead but he's not the only British rider. Alex Dyson as well had a great time trial at the Giro, beat um, Sir Bradley in that event but not the best of seasons apart from that. What are his chances today do you think? Well, his Giro performance is one of the performances of the season. There's no doubt about it. It was, it was, a, it was one of the best performances or time trial performances of the year. And um, if he, he can reproduce that kind of form today, then he should be really in the mix. Um, he's been ill the last few weeks, and that's knocked his form a little bit. So, uh, you know, it's going to be tough for Alex, but I know that he'll give his best. He always does. Terrific rider. And, um, you know, I think for today, we'll, we'll see where that gets him. And it's not just about today, of course, a big week ahead. Chris Froome going for the road race on Sunday. What are his chances, do you think? Again, I think he's got a good chance. It's a very, very tough course, uh, a lot of climbing. Um, and I think it'll be a, a war of attrition, uh, more than sort of riders attacking off the front, if you like. It'll be people getting tired of coming out of the back of the peloton, uh, which should suit us. And um, the only thing I think which would make us a little bit nervous is that because the course is so tough, the riders might choose to race it a bit more easily. Um, which isn't really ideal for us. We'd prefer a, a hard race from the, from the go and uh, a wearing down process because that would that would suit Chris. You've got some fantastic prospects as well in the men's under 23 race. Chat us through your riders there. Well, yeah, that's right. With the under 23 team, uh, the British Academy guys have had a great season, and um, particularly, I think, notably, uh, the twins, the the, mm. the eight twins, uh, Simon and Adam. Uh, we saw Simon last week win a fantastic stage in the uh, in the Tour of Britain. Uh, they've done they've done terrifically well, and, and they go into the race as uh, you know as, as as kind of real prospects. Um, and I think they they've got to be amongst the, you know amongst the favourites for sure. Uh, course suits them, I'd say. So uh, you know that's going to be really exciting. I'm really looking forward to that race, I must say. And what about the women's race then? It's going to be tough for Lizzie Armitstead to get one over on Marion Voss, the Olympic champion, isn't it? It is. I think Marion Voss goes in as favourite. There's no doubt about it. But, um, you know, I think uh, that's what racing's all about, isn't it? You know, you've got to take your chance on a day. You've got to really try and look at the opportunities when they arise, take your chance. And that's what Lizzie did. She did it at the Olympic Games. You know, she took a chance and, and she made the most out of that. And so why not on, uh, on the weekend as well? Well, best of luck for the week ahead. Thank you very much indeed. A big week of racing here in Tuscany. So Bradley Wiggins, as we just saw, coming back from his training ride, he has said that given the season he's had today, could end up defining that season. A big day for him and Alex Dyson. Can he pull it off? We'll find out this afternoon.